What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna teach you how to hack VIP Shop Management. You're gonna get the authentic way of how to hack VIP Shop Management. Uh, I see this subject a lot all, all over the internet. I mean, we are famous now where people wanna hack us all day long and um, you know, we, we have a system that monitor all this and so we can see that. All right, well, first of all, let me explain. I'm gonna explain how VIP shop management work. I know it's a weird subject, but I thought it, it's, a, it's a nice way to address it. So maybe we can help somebody. And uh, so I'm gonna talk about how VIP shop management work. And then I'm gonna talk about a personal story. And then I'm gonna talk about some wisdom. And then hopefully, uh, from this video that if I can change one person, I mean, I did my job, so. All right, so let's talk about VIP Shop Management, how it works. VIP Shop Management, it's not a, a regular app. It's a, uh, what, what we call is a click once application, which means it's a combination of a website and an application. So it relies so much on the internet. So basically, when, when you download VIP Shop Management, basically you are connected to our server constantly. And so when I see a lot of people trying to hack or they say, you know what, let's reverse engineer it and let's, you know, trying to do this. What happens is we have, a, we monitor everything. So when you try to hack it, we see it. So we have a monitor from the moment you visit our website. Let me let me let me teach something for everybody first. Let's start with this. When you when you go to any let's say you went to google.com right now. What happened you, to you nothing happened but to Google now two things happen. The IP address of my that whatever Comcast gave me already registered there and the second thing there's a, a key it's called MAC address for the computer it's already registered there that's the moment i didn't do anything i just typed google.com but that's how it works that's how it starts obviously we do this and every website does that and we do that the same thing but why do we do that not because if you're trying to do something good if you're trying to do malicious stuff we have a record when did you visit how many times did you visit when did you leave? What are you trying to do? Are you here for malicious work? Are you here just to buy the IP shop management? So what I did in my side, long time ago, I developed AI, basically a way of tracking everything. Let's say, let's say, let's go to VIP shop management. If I went, that's, I'm doing it now the regular way. Let's go to pricing and let's go to downloads. So it's tracking everything. So it knows like, I don't have time, nobody, Google doesn't have time to track this stuff, so you need a self-automated system to track the stuff. So we gotta know, when do we track, when, when something really happens. So when we see, let's say you went and you start doing this, you know what, view source, we're aware <laughs> that you can read this stuff, view source code, we're aware, we're aware that you can, uh, Re like what is that called reverse engineer VIP shop management to see the codes but what you're missing out two things instead of you learning from it and trying to use it for something else you're trying to steal the product and the problem is when you try to steal the product we will know no matter how hard you try no matter even if you succeed you're gonna pop up on the screen or our, our AI self-development is gonna say okay well congratulations we have a successor right now this is his name, this is his address, and this is his phone number, and this is his email. Would you like to contact this person? It's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing when I see that. I'm like, I know, sometimes I know the person. I'm like, I know this person. It's embarrassing, man. What are you trying to steal? $20? $55? I, I, I said to myself this morning, I was like, man, I'm gonna make a website it's called howtostaypoor.com. And literally, when you chasing, trying to steal this website or, or this app or trying to get this app for free, you will stay poor for the rest of your life. I have some bad news for you. You will stay poor for the rest of your life. What you're doing is stupid. I did this. 
I'm gonna tell you, I didn't hack anybody. I've always been a nice guy, but in 2005, 2006, uh, Windows came up with Windows Vista. Me and my cousin were excited. Uh, we, it, just the hilarious part is we, it never occurred to us to buy it, right? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. What buy? It? We don't know what's that mean. So what we did, we tried to, we didn't try to hack it. Obviously Windows is too big to hack. We were searching on the internet trying to get a product key that fits. Uh, we tried this one, we tried this one. Took us 48 hours non-sleep and we succeeded. Yes. It turns out we said, good thing, man, Microsoft doesn't chase anybody. I'm being honest with you. Good thing Microsoft doesn't chase anybody. We succeeded 30 days later. I remember I came, my screen was black. It says this product was stolen. And that, at that moment, I, I'm saying to myself, wow, I am a nice guy. I've been a nice guy my whole life. And now I'm a thief. According to Microsoft, they have my information. I'm a thief right now. Microsoft did not obviously track anybody because there was millions and millions and millions, probably a hundred million people were stealing. And the thing is what pissed me off the most every time I look at this back is Windows was only a hundred bucks, hundred dollars. And I had a hundred dollars. I finally started making money. And I'm like, I'm saying to myself, why wouldn't I buy it? and wasted 48 hours, the 48 hours that I wasted, if I worked at McDonald's, I would have made more than $100. So why would I waste the time? I, I, don't, I didn't get it. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a criminal, and my intention is not to, I didn't have a dream to go to jail at some point. So why, why would I want to steal Windows, or, or try to get a product key that's stolen, where I could have bought the damn thing? Genuine. Back in the days when I remember, I know probably you guys uh, remembered LimeWire where you could download music for free. Super excited. I get them music. I, I downloaded my song for free. I saved one dollar. One dollar. This is what I saved. One dollar. This is how you stay poor. And I'm like, why do I have this stupid mentality? That's what pissed me off. It's like, why do I have this stupid mentality? There's two people. One guy went and bought the song and I stole the song. Why? Why do I have this stupid mentality? That's called how to stay poor. I literally, I just bought this, uh, this morning uh, a website called howtostaypoor.org. Howtostaypoor.org. I'm going I'm to put my story. I'm going to make everybody bring this story so we don't stay poor. We don't stay poor. It really pisses me off the most. When I see somebody succeeded, let's say somebody succeeded and hacked VIP shop, man, I'm mad for him more than for me. This guy is wasting his talent. I know somebody who's an engineer is trying to steal. Engineer. When we were selling VIP shop management, uh, I remember we were selling VIP shop management uh, at um, Amazon, right? We're selling VIP shop management. Very few, again, very few. It's always the very few. Go buy VIP shop management. Scratch the code. As we don't know, we will never know. A brilliant person, man. You got to give that guy some credit. Brilliant people. Scratch the code and send it back. But we can see, we can track everything. What, who are you trying to fool? Do you just want to pop up on my screen as a thief? Is that what you want? And then I know one somebody even worse. I know him too. It's hilarious. He bought it. Like he wanted to confuse me. It's hilarious. So he bought it three times. One buy, 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 buy. And return them all. And then I see it. You cannot fool people. Every thief always leave a trail. Why? For, for you to be able to steal, you have to leave a trail. Man, I'm emotional about this because I can relate more. All these, uh, we have, we have, some of the hackers are really good. Some of the hackers are engineers. Some of the hackers, I don't, I don't like the word hacker because kind of, what is a hacker? It's trying to steal. I, I, I call them hackers equal thief. Don't call yourself a hacker. You're just a thief. If you stole my, my can of Pepsi or Coke, same thing. You're a thief. You're not a hacker. You're a thief. Don't be a thief, man. Life is too short, man. You have so much potential. You have a brain. You have, you have skills. What you need to do, which is that should have I done when I was uh, uh, younger, 
is to put this skill to something and solve a problem. Go find a problem. If you think uh, uh, shop management is not doing their job the way you want, go put this knowledge and create your own. Create your own or go find somebody who's struggling. Go walk to the stores. When you see somebody struggling on the screen because he has some stupid software, go help it. Create one. That's how you do it. If you want to become the new Microsoft, that's how you do it. What do you think? They're not smarter than you. I'm telling you. I learned that from Steve Jobs. Finally, somebody came up and said it. He said, everything you see around you were made by people that are not smarter than me and you. I proved that. It's right there. I'm a C student. My, my Arabic teacher back home used to make fun of me, pull me up in front of the whole class, make fun of me and tell me, hey, what do you want to be? What are you going to do? Look, you're embarrassed. I'm 13 years old. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. He's telling me you're embarrassment to your family. Making fun of me. Turns out his ego. He's a fucking liar. That's what he was. I'll never go to Lebanon. Guys ask me, people always judge me about my last name thinking like I'm Lebanese. I'm not Lebanese. I don't have anything to do with their culture. I don't want anything to do with their culture. When I became U.S. citizen, I put my, my, my driver license, my, my whatever, the, the passport. I shredded it. I don't want anything to do with them. Why? I had a bad experience there. I was in jail. 19 years of my life, I was in jail. With my own parents, I was in jail. Religion. What is my religion, Mark? Do you know what is my religion right now? My religion is being successful. I want to be, I want to be successful. That's it. That's my religion. If, you have, if, you, if you're Chinese and you have something good, I want it. If you're Indian and you have something good, I want it. What, what is my culture? I want, my culture is combination for everybody's have good. I don't want anything to do with that. I don't celebrate any holidays. I don't celebrate any holiday. I work on the holidays. Wake up, be smart, man. I, I'm learning from everybody who's brilliant in this country. I'm focusing on the brilliant. Sometimes I come in and say it. So when you when you join VIP shop management, it's not like you you're you're paying fifty five dollars. If you watch the video, sometimes sometimes something triggers. I'm sure you're struggling. If you own an auto repair shop, you're not a millionaire. I already know that. So don't act like a millionaire when you're not a millionaire. And if you don't have a goal to become a millionaire, you're losing. I just told you that people are millionaires are not smarter than me and you. So what's the, what's the problem now? What are we doing something wrong? Well, I tell you what, in my case, I was born in Lebanon. I was taught all the stupid things. I was taught how to stay poor. I was taught to store, to steal a windows for a hundred bucks where I could have bought it for a hundred bucks. That's what I was taught. Poor. I hate being poor. You gotta put me in the grave. Grave. Put me in the grave to put, and not stay poor. I have a goal to become billionaire. And no matter what, ain't nobody gonna stop. Only death is gonna stop me from becoming a billionaire. And it's not from VIP show. People think, well, well Mark, you cannot become billionaire from VIP. I already know that. I already have projects lined up. What I'm trying to say, man, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's embarrassing. Wake up, wake up. Jim Rohn, man. Go watch Jim Rohn. Go watch Jim Rohn. On YouTube, you're just scrolling up and down. Watch Jim Rohn. It will teach you this stuff. He will teach you how to change your life. You gotta let go. You only live once. You gotta let go. Culture, let go. Religion, let go. Be a good person. I see so many religious people out there and they're not good people. We saw what happened in the United States. We saw what happened. People ready to steal and burn. It was embarrassing. I couldn't believe it. I was like, is this the United States? I can't believe it. What's going on? Am I in Lebanon back again? Ready to steal and burn. I saw a group of people beating one person. I was like, I can't believe it. This is Lebanon right here. Embarrassing. Wake up, man. Wake up. Anyway, man, I'm not like making this video to protect me or I like I said, we do have an when it comes to security, we're very 
we take this stuff seriously and we do have a partnership with somebody that we send and we have AI that always cont cont continuous tracking will find you regardless man I, I don't care about them or I care about you that's what I'm saying I don't care I don't I want you to erase because I can relate I want you to relate erase the how to stay poor mentality that's all anyway like usual I appreciate you guys until next time thanks for watching